Hello guys, how are you? I hope you guys are doing well. So as uh, we have studied up till now, like the three chapters, okay. So in first three chapter, it was totally the introduction about the assembly, lang uh, assembly language and the computer architecture. But now we are going uh, toward the deeper side. So today our lecture will be mostly focused on the signed and unsigned integers, okay. What are the signed integers and what are the unsigned integers and how we gonna we gonna multiply them, add them, subtract them, okay? So first of all, uh, we are going to start from the integer storage size. Uh, we, we know in the architecture, uh, in different architecture, there are the different types of uh, storage, um, storage, like here, if we see like in MIPS uh, or the Intel, this is like the byte is always uh, the byte is always the eight uh, bit okay so eight bit uh, consists on byte half word is 16 bit the word 32 bit okay and the double word is always 64 bit okay these are the storage size okay in most most of the uh, most of the cases okay and uh, these are for the all for the sign and unsigned these are all like for byte always byte would be the a eight bit okay there is another okay there is another thing which is actually uh, not written which is actually we call the nibble nibble is actually the four bit but mostly it is not used the, the these are the the four uh, actually uh, story sizes which are used the byte the half word the word and the double word okay and these bits are representing their n okay they're representing their n n mean how many bits okay let's suppose if i say like the byte is n so n is here eight bits okay and his here eight bits so according to that so byte unsigned range is 0 to 255 what are the signed range okay and what are the signs we will see in the coming slide inshallah so here the unsigned range is 0 to 55 how it is 0 to 255 if there are the 8 bits so minimum minimum value will be the 0 because 2 raised uh, it is like from 0 and the maximum is 2 raised power 8 what is n okay 2 raised power 8 minus 1 which is actually uh, nothing and it is it is like from 0 to 2 raised to power 8 to 56, 256, sorry, minus 1 is 255. So it is from 2, uh, 0 to 255, okay? So it is like this. So here uh, we have the range of the byte, okay? And this is the formula like from 0 to, uh, minimum is always 0. The minimum in unsigned integers are always start from 0. And the maximum value could be from the formula. This could be the maximum value for the 8 bit, maximum value for the 16 bit maximum value for the 30 uh, 32 bit and maximum value could be with this 64 bit okay so these are the ranges which are defined here okay and here if if like we have a question here what is the largest 20 bit unsigned integer largest from the name it is shown as the largest largest means the maximum value so maximum value is de definitely defined as 2 raised power 20 minus 1 so it will be like 2 raised power 20 and the minus one which will which give, will give us a 20 bit unsigned largest integer okay i hope this is clear so the next slide is about binary addition okay how the binary uh, are added added with each other let's suppose we have 54 and this is the binary of 54 29 and this is the binary of 29 how the binary are added it's very simple because binary is always like zero and ones okay so it is like one plus zero is one one plus zero is one one and one it became two and two is in binary is one zero so two in binary is one zero then we have uh, uh, then we have three actually uh, three is nothing it, it is actually one one okay uh so if so it is like this okay so here if we see like one one it become two two is actually uh one zero so zero is here and one is carry okay so zero is here one is over here one over carry okay here one is carry and then again one plus one two it is again zero here one is carry then here we can see like here it became one 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 it became three so three is one one so one here one is carry this one will be the 
carry so one is here one is carry here okay here again this one one is two two is one zero zero here one is carry okay so again one plus zero one zero is zero okay so when you will uh, find the decimal value of this binary it will it will be 83 and how we find the uh, decimal value of the binary it is nothing like from the bit position you can say like 2 raised power 6 uh, you can say here 2 raised power 6 okay and plus 2 raised power 1 plus 2 raised power 1 plus 2 raised power 0 sorry i miss actually this 4 2 raised power 4 2 raised power 6 2 raised power 4 and then 2 raised power 1 and then 2 raised power 0 so when you will add them then you will get this 83 okay so this is a very simple binary addition okay and then we are coming toward the hexadecimal addition okay it's a little bit tricky but it's again it's very similar and very easy okay let's see for, uh, with the example so just keep in in the mind whenever in the hexadecimal we have to take the carry it is always 16 okay 16 which would be considered as carry 1 okay but the value will be 16 but it will be considered as 1 okay here we will see like here this is we have the one hexadecimal value this is another hexadecimal value if we are going to add them let's suppose a is 10 b is 11 okay let's suppose uh, if i if i add like 10 and i add the 11 so in binary what i will got here it is one and it is uh i'm i'm, I'm really very sorry it's actually the hexadecimal uh so it's not like the binary if if i add simple like uh, the 10 and 11 it become 21 okay so it will become 21 so we have to divide this 21 in the 16 so we how we, we can write like this so we have the equation whatever the addition we will get we will put like 21 minus x is equal to 16 okay this is the equation every time you have to follow this equation so you have to find the x if i will find the x so x will be the 21 minus 16 okay so what we will got after 21 minus 16 uh we will got the 5 so x is 5 okay x is 5 so here 5 will be here and this this 16 is always your carry this 16 will be always your carry as a 1 so here this is your carry as a 1 okay so again here 6 plus 1 7 7 plus 4 it's 11 so it's b it's less than why we have convert here whenever we have value greater than and equal to 16 we have to apply this technique whenever we have like greater than equal to 16 okay we have to apply this this equation technique if the, the value is some addition is less than then it's no problem same we have to put it like this again here 8 and 8 16 again we will use this equation 16 minus x is 16 so x will be 0 x 0 carry is 1 okay 2 plus 1 3 and e is okay uh, a b c d e a uh, it will be 14 14 and uh, plus 3 17 so again you will use this equation and you can make it like this so this addition hexadecimal addition will perform like this okay so always hexadecimal addition is always like this whenever you got the value greater or equal than 16 you have to perform this equation uh, process and then whatever the value you will got put it here the carry will always be one okay the 16 is considered as a carry one okay good i hope this is again clear okay then it's come the signed integer okay so these all were like the unsigned integers okay so there it doesn't matter the sign but in the sign integer okay we have two things in our let's suppose bit representation the first uh, the most significant bit and the other one okay the most significant bit this bit is our sign bit okay this is our sign bit this is our sign bit in sign integer and this is our magnitude this is our magnitude in the sign integers okay so this bit this most significant bit this bit will 
define the number either this number is negative or the positive okay so we will see deeply so there are the several ways to represent the sign number okay the first one is sign magnitude then there is like the biased then the ones complement then the twos complement but the most most adopted one is the twos complement method the most adopted one is twos complement method mostly architectures and this is digital system adopt the twos complement method okay and again after that here like uh, again uh, in the sign number the ranges ranges are different okay so here we will mostly mostly focus on the twos complement representation of the sign number okay uh, okay uh, so here it's uh, here it comes the twos complement representation and again of for the twos complement representation we have different methods okay so we will see each one by one okay first of all let's suppose in the positive numbers let's suppose plus 20 plus 30 plus 50 our signed value is always equal to unsigned let's see let's see here let's see here okay i have let's suppose zero is always zero one is always plus one whenever you are going to write the sign number show with with it sign positive one positive two positive 128 127 okay and the negative number this is the first formula for the sign number you have to use to show the sign number if your number is negative and you want to show it in the sign number you have to use this formula okay let's suppose we have to find the sign value of 128 okay let's suppose i have to find the sign value of 128 so here you will put like the unsigned value is 128 you will put here 128 okay and then you will put minus 2 raised power n n is what is n again i told you n is the number of the bits okay how many bits we are using here we are using the 8 bit binary so it will come here 8 okay it will come 8 here so we know 2 raised power 8 is 256 so 128 128 minus 256 so how much you will get minus 128 so here see you will got the minus 128 again okay so in this way again if it's 129 you want to see its uh, sign value so you will put here 1, 129 minus 256 you will get minus 127 and in this way you will got these values okay this is the first you will see the uh, sign number okay so again this is another method for the negative weight for the most significant bit so you can also check the num what is the number what the number is let's suppose if you want to check what is this number in sign okay so you will assign this last digit weight as a negative you will put the negative weight and all other weights will be the positive and just you will add them up and you will get the decimal value okay uh i hope uh this is guys up till this is clear so in the next lecture inshallah we will see uh we will see the twos complement how we find the twos complement and uh, how we can find the twos uh, twos complement different ways okay so we will see uh, see you guys in 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 next lecture okay thank you